In the course of the weekend, I also have been watching a TV show that I quickly wanted to talk about that I really kind of enjoying so far. The first is this show called Ra um, Rabbit Hole. And it features Kiefer Sutherland, who most of you guys will know from 24, right? And legit, I don't really know what the show's about. I'm not going to lie. The, the kind of idea behind it is essentially Kiefer Sutherland works as this um, consultant, stock guy type of thing um, who kind of, you know, purposely manipulates the market to kind of favor his clients or favor himself so he can look good you know, by doing these little tricks and pranks and purposeful things to affect certain things. Like maybe he'll have a fake um, TV, um, you know, um, a stock market thing playing. So the person in the cafe, when they see that or the restaurant, they get nervous, they sell their positions. And then that means his client who he's working for makes a bunch of money. And in the process, you know, you find out stuff about him and espionage and this shadowy cabal of people who are controlling some other people that he may be friends with. It's just weird. It's weird overall, right? But what I do love about it, it's just basically what I love in shows, which is a classic thriller, spy, financial, kind of like whodunit, crime caper type of thing. And so far, four episodes in, I'm kind of happy with it. It's not amazing. It's not highfalutin. It's not going to be highbrow TV. It's no Wire. It's no Sopranos. It's no flipping... Um, it's not Breaking Bad. It's not none of that. But if you need something to watch that's within the kind of 24 universe, that's fun, that doesn't take itself too seriously, but it's also pretty decent in terms of its storyline, decent characters you can kind of get invested in, I really I really do encourage you to watch it. Because again, there's not much out there right now to kind of check out. I know I've mentioned a lot of times here on the pod that I am a fan of Star Trek Picard season three. I think the previous seasons one and two were absolutely diabolical, but for whatever reason, whoever they decided to hire as a writer has absolutely smashed it with Star Wars Picard um, season three. But I really, really do um, have enjoyed so far this flipping show rabbit hole it's been really something interesting i've checked out and again if you're a fan of keeper sutherland as an actor and you kind of want to see him in something where he's not as dour um and it's not as kind of like you know i feel like towards the end 24 kind of lost its legs but i feel like this is a decent uh, um show and it's got this guy too who plays um what you call it who plays one of the who plays the lannister dad i forgot his name let me just see on the web thing he's a he's pretty decent in this also he's a very very good actor um charles dance who plays um Kiefer sutherland's mythical dad in the show which i shouldn't say because it's a spoiler but most of you guys won't check it out anyway so it doesn't really matter but regardless check it out if you haven't already it's really good show rabbit hole available now wherever you get shows you know you know where i'm getting my shows obviously on those russian sites but if you've got a legit if you're a legit person you can watch it now on paramount and on flipping amazon prime but if you're not legit you know where to go you know where to go then I've also been watching, I quickly want to mention this because I think this show is really underrated. Really, really, really underrated. And I've only been checking it out because the main actor guy essentially got in a really crazy accident where he got, I think, cut up by a flipping lawnmower or something. I don't know what it was and he hospital for ages. And then I decided to kind of check it out because he kept mentioning the name of the show and articles about his injury. Mayor of Kingston. Mayor of Kingston is legitimately a pretty decent and underrated show not many people are talking about it i feel like online but i'm legitimately enjoying it mostly because of how it depicts this guy who essentially is acting as like a fixer right a fixer for like um uh, you know the place that he lives in, in kingstown he's kind of like the unofficial mayor but he's also has a criminal past He's kind of playing both sides of the fence and he's basically trying to do right by doing wrong, right? That's what he's basically trying to do. He's trying to do right by doing wrong. But obviously, if he has the right intentions around things, he kind of thinks it just, you know, the ends justify the means. Um, but it's really kind of telling the story in a really clever and a complex way i really do what like it i really have enjoyed it so far i don't want to give away too much of the story but i have definitely enjoyed it and i think some of the acting performances in it are really good also um there's some really good scenes in it i like that it's kind of violent it's not as kind of cookie cutter as you would expect it to be and for me so far it's been an enjoyable watch to kind of check out and i've essentially been able to binge the last two seasons over the last few weeks which i I kind of regret but 
it has basically allowed me the opportunity to kind of see that oh there are some decent shows out there they're not all the most the same old nonsense but um over time over time over time um it's nice to see that these things kind of exist and actual decent TV is available out there. So again, if you're having a struggle with stuff to watch out there, you don't know what you want to check out, then I definitely recommend you check out those shows that I mentioned, um, Rabbit Hole and Flipping, what's it called? And uh, Mayor of Kingstown, available now wherever you purchase or wherever you watch shows. So let me just double check actually and see where Mayor of Kingstown's available. Oh, same place. So Mayor of Kingstown's available, according to me in the UK, it says it's available on Paramount, Amazon Prime, and Apple TV, and also YouTube. So if you want to check that out, definitely make sure you do. Some really solid performances in the whole entire thing. And I've definitely, definitely have enjoyed it so far that I've been watching it. I 100% have enjoyed it.